It is so good to see you. I know. You have been uh, in Australia. Uh, the last time I talked to you, you were stuck in Australia. You were shooting uh, Nine Perfect Strangers. Nine Perfect Strangers, we went there. And it was so beautiful. And we were supposed to come back to LA. And we were like, oh, we could stay in Byron Bay. When like we were out in the country and surrounded by cows. And we just stayed out. There's, it's such beautiful country. Um, dangerous, wildly dangerous. Yes. I don't know if you know Australia, but it's trying to kill you. <laughs> like everything like there can kill you. Everything can. It's like that is such a beautiful bird. It's like oh, that's a, well, listen to the sounds of the birds. Maybe they're like, be careful, because if they mark your face, they'll attack you forever. And I was like, <laughs> and at first I was like, you guys are, you're just telling me crazy stories. And then one after one, people, somebody's like, yeah, I had to move out of an, apart of an apartment. Because like, what kind of is bird it was the, it? Um, not the magpie. It's the magpie. Oh really? And they're like, when it gets your face, like if it sees you and decides, I don't like Ellen. Twelve years later, it's like, hello, Ellen. <laughs> like it will remember you and come at you again. Wow, I didn't know that about magpies. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, when you got bit by something or other. Uh, we nobody could tell me, and no one seemed alarmed by it. My entire body, I had huge crazy hives. My eyes swelled shut. And I was like twitching because the uh, it, it had like hit my nervous system, and they're like, "Yeah, so oh, there she is. That's attractive." Wait, why were your hands wrapped so you couldn't itch? So I couldn't itch, and it was all ice packs because I was I was I was itching so badly, and I started twitching with my nerves. Did you have a bite somewhere, or just your body just we, did that? We never found it, and the doctor was just kind of like, "Yeah, <laughs> something gotcha," and I was like. <laughs> But I, and literally at the time, my eyes were swollen shut. The only thing I loved, my top lip was gorgeous. <laughs> it literally was like three times the size. And I'm like, if I could just find whatever little bug it was and just gently just, rub it on. Yeah. But everything else was a train wreck. And like, they seemed OK with it. They're like, yeah, we'll get you an EpiPen. It's fine. Uh, wow. Like, they were so calm. And I was like, all right, well, I, I'm, I'm bedridden. They're like, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's Australia. You made it out. Just like, suck it up. Yeah, I'm glad you're back, though. Okay. After being in Australia for a year, which you yeah. didn't plan on being there a year, but obviously someone was taking care of your dogs. But what happened when you came? I mean, they must have gone crazy without you. They, it was so weird because we tried every way to work it to take our dogs oh. with us. I mean, they're like, <laughs> yeah, they were not happy for a while. Um, but we, you can't, and I get it, it's an island. They're like, we, we just can't have the threat. Unless you're moving there, you really, you don't want to bring your animals there. So my cousin Jenna stayed with them, and I came home after a year, and I was almost nervous because it had, it had been so long. And Harper, who's the bigger one, that's, well, he's pretty. I can give him that, but he just kept going. <laughs> he sounds like a dinosaur. It's very jarring. We know that he's happy, but like if other people hear it, they're like, holy crap. Like what's, look at him. He's like, I'm just handsome. <laughs> but he keeps making these crazy noises. And then Betty, who's little and like can't be bothered, was like, oh, yeah, you're back. <laughs> and she immediately went upstairs into my closet and peed on the rug. And literally, I think she was like, yeah, how's, how's Australia? How's Australia? And then she just walked out and I was like, you earned that one. Uh, uh. But it was a real like, hang on, but Come with me so you can watch. <laughs> like, it was a real, like, just a little doggy paw came out and was like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but come on. That's, I mean. Yeah, that's so sweet. He's part And I was asking you during the, um, during the uh, co commercial break, uh, your tattoos are for a movie you're doing. They're henna? They're henna. They're, ben wrote this show for next Netflix called God's Favorite Idiot. And I'm much, but look at how neat they are. I'm like, it's so much cooler than I'll ever be. Like, when I'm like, Getting a coffee, I'm like, oh yeah, let me just, I'll use my tattooed fingers to get some, a card out. Uh, but they're gonna wear off in like six days and then I'm gonna be bummed. But it's these little stickers you put on and they just, I mean, it's like, psst, come on, it's an ice cream cone and a dinosaur, guys. Look at that. Oh, you have one on your neck too. Yeah. And how do your girls like that? Do your daughters like that you have tattoos? They love it. I've always let them, since they were really tiny, I always just let them draw like, they can use Sharpies and just draw. Like, I used to draw all, do art all up and down their arms when they were, like, 18 months, which I found funny. <laughs> but they would literally look, you know, it'd be like, ride or die, or, like, just crazy <laughs> stuff. So I, I'm always like, you can do whatever you want. So I've given them, like, henna pens so they can, they can do whatever. Vivi's really artistic, and Georgie's really into anime. So I'm like, maybe not on your face, because it takes a week or so. But I'm like, then again, 
It's been a rough couple of years. Draw on your face. Whatever you want to yeah. do. Um, how, are, how are they doing? Because Georgie is the one that used to have the uh, theories about someone breaking into the house, right? Yeah, it's less about that. She's not uh, so robber obsessed now, but she's super into anime, and she's always like, so if I had the power to kill someone, I would do it through my cloak. And I'm like, all right. Okay, <laughs> that's... And she, she's taking Japanese lessons. She's, like, so into anime. She'll just... Like, she'll go upstairs, and we're about to go to school, and she just comes down, and there's, like, a full band of yellow. And she's like, I'm ready for school. And there's, like, elf ears. I'm like, yeah, all right. You can... I think they're always waiting for me to be like, wait a minute. And instead, I'm just like, yeah, you want, you want a neck tat? Uh, <laughs> I think I just and, am always like, do a little more. And is Ben the same with you, as you with them? Yeah, he's just always like, oh, that's great. And like, sometimes, like, Georgie, would she, they would stay in Australia a few more weeks, uh, and then she called me, and we were FaceTiming. She's like, my hair's blue. And I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> she was like... I think she thought she wanted me to be like, this is outrageous. I'm like, great, you can shave half of it off. <laughs> That's my theory. If I just keep being like, do more, they'll get so bored with it that they'll... Yeah, probably so. now I'm announcing my reverse psychology, so yeah. no. I just screwed myself. <laughs> you just did. Um, and you and Ben, but y'all are so good together because you're both pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> right? Do you think? Yes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We're certainly uh, similarly... Uh, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a, a, a Tuesday, or what's happening? That's like Saturday at like 11.45 in the afternoon. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. we, were, we were getting ready for like a group Zoom, and we just thought, <laughs> we've got wigs. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And the girls, like, it's different costumes all the time, and, and like we walk past the girls, and sometimes it's like really bad old age makeup or like some weird costume, and they're just like, hey. <laughs> and I'm like, nothing? They I'm don't... in like full, I'm in like a full old, I've done like high school theater makeup. I'm wearing a gray wig. I have a cane. And Georgie at one point just said, at this point, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> and I was like, fair enough. And then Ben walks in. He, at one point, we both dressed as uh, Miss Daisy from Driving Miss Daisy. And the girls were literally just like, like, it didn't even register to them. I'm like, is this damaging? <laughs> that's, that's, I didn't know what to do. That's hilarious. I was like, you should at least notice it, even if you don't like it. Right. It's like... What lucky girls. I mean, to grow Me, up I, like let's that. Let's hope. Yeah, I, I, that's Melissa McCarthy and the Starling. And uh, there's... I was just asking if that cat was drugged, because he was holding that cat, and it was just so calm. And then that huge St. Bernard next to you. Oh, that baby. First of all, we did so many takes and I had to, I think I I want to say I had to reloop that but maybe I didn't that is a that's a beast it's like a, a mid-sized horse and at some point if I he would come eat any time and he was like an old dog so he was like I'm gonna lay where I'm gonna lay so it wasn't like your marks here so sometimes he'd come too close and when he breathed it was like <laughs> and I at first I was like is he okay and they're just like yeah it's a Saint Bernard like he's his lungs are like this big but if he would come too close and we're doing this kind of like, you know, delicate scene, and if he came too close and got on my cushion, as I'm like, I don't know, I just missed my chair. <laughs> and then he would be breathing and I was bouncing up and Kevin's like, this seems like a different show. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd have to like, and you, to get him to move back, like, I mean, that, the, the dog's like bigger than the coffee table and solid. Well, you had a lot of obstacles in this because also there's a bird that's not really a bird that you're talking to. Well, yeah. first of all, tell everybody what the movie is about. It is a lovely Ted Melfi directed this. It's a lovely movie. It's about a couple that kind of goes through an, an unimaginable loss. And it's them kind of dealing with finding their way through it, finding their way to the other side. Uh, kind of tending to your own mental health and what that means to different people. And then the lovely thing is at the end of it, it's really hopeful and it shows that you can, you can get through it and you don't do it the way you expect. I have a bird help me. I have a vet help me with my therapy, which is Kevin Klein. But it's Chris O'Dowd, yeah, and I mean, it's, yeah. it's funny, it's, yeah, it's heartbreaking. Sweet, it's sweet, is it? Yeah. And then, but the bird, uh, <laughs> you're not so nice to that bird, by the way. I was mad at you at one point. Me, yep. I was being attacked. Well, <laughs> but there's a bird that's supposed to just be. I'm trying to reclaim my 
plot of land, so to speak, and literally, and then the bird's like, get out, it's mine. And so it starts, which I, starlings do become very possessive of their surroundings, and it keeps attacking me in the front yard. And I end up having these arguments, then I have like full-blown talks with this bird, but there's no bird there because you can't make it just sit there and talk to you. So Ted Melfi would be like standing over at the monitor, and the first time he, by the way, he didn't mention that he was going to do it. So during this kind of like touching scene, he's like, And he's like, I'm the starling. I was like, you, a little heads up. But then I kind of was like, can you do the starling again? It kind of helps me. So it was me and just Ted with his like ba baseball hat on, like doing this. But he had researched. He goes, that's what starling sounds like. Yep, they do kind of. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, before we go to break, uh, you, uh, New York Times just uh, named you one of 25 actors, the greatest actors of the 21st century. <laughs> I think what most people don't know is that if you look closely, my my dad wrote that. So I just I sent him a check, and he was like, "Yeah, put Missy on." Not the list. true. <laughs> not true at all. No, really, you're just you're so brilliant in in everything you do, and so real, and uh, you're hilarious. You're it, touching and real. It just you. I I totally Thanks. agree. Yeah. Um, we're gonna take a, a a break. We're gonna play a game. The oh. Starling is out on Netflix now, and we'll come back with a game. <laughs> 